Hey guys, so uh, I just picked up some new tail lights from um, eBay, and there are these ones here. Um, and decided I'm gonna post a video on how to install them. So first of all, you need to. I, did, I started with the trunk one. I already got them in there, uh, but I figured I wanted to show you guys. And the easiest way to move the tail lights is you have this lining, uh, this fabric lining. Um, just remove that. There's just going to be these plastic clips that you remove. Um, I have them in a bag. So these plastic clips you just pull down. They automatically pop out. You don't need a screwdriver. And then once you have that off, there's these two 8mm screws or bolts. Take that off. And then there's two more right here. And that's it. So the tail lights will be loose. The only problem now, you can't pull them out because there's this chrome molding. Um, all you do is, uh, there's two bolts on the underside. Let me show you. See, there's, ten, there's a 10 millimeter here and then one on the other side. Just get that and pull it off and it'll just come right off. Um, so putting it in is pretty easy. Um, now in terms of the wiring, this is what it came with. Uh, these two wiring right here. And then this one actually plugs into the original light bulb. And then this is a little adapter it came with. Um, but the funny thing is that it doesn't actually plug into this original white piece. Nor does the original. Like if I remove that off, this doesn't fit either. It looks like it may, but it's, it doesn't fit. So I'm probably just going to have to cut that. Um, this wire is... Looks like a green and black of the original harness. No, I'm sorry, of the, the tail light. And then looks like red in here. So I'm probably just going to tap into that. Um, so that should be pretty easy. Uh, and now I just have to work on this here to remove these two. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to take off the bumper to do so. And I started a little bit on this side pretty easy there's these 10 millimeters right here I already took off two and then um, it should pop out but uh, I read that you actually have to take off your bumper um, so I guess I'm gonna have to do that and then go from there so I had to take off the bumper and the bumper is actually pretty easy there's two screws over here um, two of those plastic clips on the bottom and then there is uh, two hex screws on the side and then once you get that out you just kind of yank the bumper it kind of clips on from here uh, but once you get that out the bumper just comes off and then the tail lights are actually bolted on here so you can't just you have to remove the bumper because you need to take this off or just remove the screw from here from the bracket um, and then the tail lights just comes out off I put these ones on here And they actually look pretty good. Um, that's, I think that's the easy part. The hard part is just going to make sure the wires are in play. This one looks pretty complicated, so. Okay, so the bumper is back on. Tail lights are installed. Um, the wiring has not been done. Alright guys, so after, after you get the tail lights installed, here is what they're wiring wiring looks like installed um, so if I pull this out the the tail lights come with two plugs actually technically three um, two of them looks like this where um, they plug into the actual uh, bob housing so the the wires actually fit right into the housing so there's two of them um, this one can go directly back in and this one's actually for the turn signals and this one here, um, there's three wires on it. So this one, one is for the turn signal, one is for the brake light. I'm sorry, not turn signal, just a regular tail light, and one's for the brake light. Um, and so that's all wired up. But it came with a third one, which um, I don't know what that's for. It doesn't, it's not for anything. I don't know if it's for like a universal plug, um, but not being used. So that works 100%. After playing around with um, the harness, I was able to pull out the wire and the whole time I thought this was 
um, two separate wires but if you look closely it actually comes out um, to just two wires so that just means the tail lights light up but then this is just split off of the main um, connection so again this is kind of like the main outer housing this is the only thing used this is just like a universal adapter or some type some type of adapter that's not being used um, so this is going to plug into the regular harness now which uh, the regular harness and then um, what I found out was this is the regular housing this is the the one that the reverse tail lights when you look at this there was a cover and I removed the cover so now this is just going to go into um, the tail light so you're actually using the the OEM bulb for reverse but the problem is the wire doesn't reach like there's no way I can screw that on so I'm probably gonna have to cut it and extend the wire out um, but it looks like it's actually plug and play so the tail lights of the OEM fits directly into that and then with the inner tail lights is actually pretty easy as well this comes out, this plugs into the OEM harness, the bulb, and then the regular um, reverse tail lights just plugs into the housing, but you just have to extend this wire and you should be set. All right, so here is my final tail light setup. So I cut the harness, I put in these splicers, slicers, and then I just use some random, I actually use the, um, the little weird harness that it came with. I cut the, the wires and I extended it and plugged it into that so this would just go into so there you go the actually you probably need to tighten it but the reverse lights in there and then um, the harness plugs right into the regular uh, OEM wiring and then spliced up and this is basically what it looks like I'll probably just clean it up by um, putting some zip ties or taping this to that, but let's test it out to see if the tail light works. I started up the car, and it looks like that works. I haven't wired that side yet, but the reverse light works, the turn signal works, um, these LEDs work, and then I've also tested the brake lights, and that worked. So there you have it. A pretty quick and easy install. I would say probably about an hour, um, minus the wiring. That probably is like only another 15. 15 minutes or so so looks good